Um, cloud computing is radically changing the way we work, the way we interact with each other, the way we do a lot of things online and offline, but it also, in order to fully understand it, we need to slightly change in our points of view. Uh, Gigi Tagliapietra is uh, uh, a friend and he is very, very good at uh, explaining things uh, in uh, slightly different ways. So with the help of uh, Dimitri Candoni, today Gigi will talk to us about cloud computing. Well, thank you everybody for inviting me. It was a great pleasure because uh, when Paolo asked me to, to come and talk, I always ask myself, what can I talk about? And most of all, how can I talk about technology? I don't know a week about technology. Yeah. Uh, I know about music. Yes, th this I know about. So I wonder how many of you... Can you switch, please? Bingo. How many of you dis know this man? One, two, three, four. Uh, maybe you recognize this man. And um, this is why I decided I wanted to talk to you about the music of Claude Debussy. One of the most important musicians of last century and uh, I did it because being the president of the Italian Association of Security they keep on asking why don't you talk about security and cloud computing I said it's impossible it's simply impossible there is no security but how can I explain that cloud computing is so different yesterday we thanks to today we, we had a glimpse on how we have to change our mindset and so I decided to exchange with you my reflections and uh, talk to you about the music of Claude Debussy with, with Dimitri actually this is not the Beatles okay this is Debussy okay as we know from yesterday in order to interact with the world around us, we need patterns of interpretation. And we create expectation. We expect, okay, I put a computer and thing works. Is that correct? Maybe, yeah. Um, and after all, we build in our mind hierarchical mental patterns. What comes first, what comes next, the boss is more important, uh, all sort of things that help us to live and it takes a big huge effort to change those patterns at, at the Museum of Art of Rovereto there was this saying in Italian that, that translates more or less like this the simple things you see remember are all very complicated and so we have to face a world of complexity and how can we do it? I think we, music, music helps us a lot to understand that we are able to face with complexity. Because when we listen to music, we do something, our brain does magic things. Um, I need Nimbitri to help me now to explain you what is a musical scale. Do you know what a musical scale is? Well, let's take the, the one all of you know. Do re mi fa sol la si do si di Again You can sing it slowly da 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 glorious fine And you think that the notes are seven seven notes the seven stars actually not how many are the notes Notes are 12 Try all the diatonic. So there are different notes, 
and different intervals between a note and another. Okay? So we have a one tone. Can you do a tone? Or a half tone? Okay? Why this is so important? Because this hides a structure. It makes us understand that there is the, the tone interval, that it's bold and strong, and the half tone, that smile. So thanks to the half tone, we can have major and minor. Can you do a C major and C minor? Do a C minor, just one note change. Completely different mood. Happiness, C major. Sadness, C minor. Dun, dun, da, da, di, da, di, da, 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 da. Okay, one note. One note change. One, actually, not one note. One interval. A tiny little interval change, and everything changes. This is just in our Western music. Indians have 108 intervals. Okay? But this is it. So when, when we see something like this, it's not just a map of a network. We thought it was a map of a network. Actually, it's a hierarchical structure that we are presenting to people. Mainframe is always bigger. PC were always smaller. Mainframe are always on the top of the slide, and the PC were down below. And depending who is the vendor, concentrator or routers are much bigger than they are in reality. What is the consequence? There is a big consequence between hierarchies and scales. It's called tension and release. So, do me a seventh. And we go, ah, glorious. So if you do a seventh, there is an expectation that something happened. Even if you're not a musician, you know this. Look at it. I don't know who's told you. You are doomed. <laughs> Roger, no! Can you do it here, please? Dun, dun, dun. You can't resist. You know, it's in your body. It's in your DNA. I mean, you can't do just dun, da, 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 even if you're not a cartoon. I mean, why this? Because music generates expectations and tension and then finally a release. If you listen to Chopin, Chopin is magic, just one descending scale in the A minor. And it's just one descending scale until you get to the final E. And you really feel like, ha, ah, I'm ha, ah, okay. You really were breaking my heart. So this is the consequence of structures and hierarchical models. But why musicians are so special, like Dimitri? You think he's a normal human being? No, he's a musician. They are special because, because there is not just one scale. There are many scales. And not just one key. There are many keys. Do you know that a piano player, can I show can, just one second? You, you can go ahead and play. I use this. Okay. Every musician reads two rows at the same time. Can you read a book with two lines at the same time? How is your brain made of? Difficult. But not only. He reads two different keys at the same time. So the same black dot on the top part of the score has a meaning, and the same dot on the lower part of the score has a different meaning. 
So his brain is switching. Can you, do you have a microphone? You could hear the click, 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 click. Very, very fast. No? Changing continuously the parameters, the patterns of understanding. And you say, okay, that's tough, but do you know that an orchestra conductor has 17 scores in front of him? And he reads the 17 scores simultaneously. Because there are many keys. And in every key, the, the C note is in different lines, depending on the key. So you say, our brain is capable of doing marvelous things. He can adapt to situation, change the pattern of interpretation on the fly. Except when they apply to computers, information technology, you start thinking TCP IP and the world disappear. You start thinking Linux. Okay. Then your brain is screwed up. Okay? You don't you're not able to change it. Okay? It's kind of locked in one position. So this is why I think that something marvelous happened in music. And when we look at a score like this, this is one of the most touching and beautiful music. It's the arabesque number one. There is a key change. And it's like if in, in, an, in an installation, in a corporation, we install a Windows system, but then on the fly we switch to a Mac system and we integrate the two. And then we talk about Facebook. And then we change our mind because when you talk about Facebook, it's not just a technology, it's a mindset that has to change. And then you realize that Twitter is something completely, completely different. When you listen to Debussy music, this is what happens in your brain. It happens that it changes your pattern. It takes and shakes you and moves you from a point to another. Remember that when we talk about fixed mobile communication, iOS, Android, cause, effect, open source, copyright, all those buzzwords are not just words. Our pattern, our schemes, our locks into we set our brain and sometimes we put our brain into jail unless we break it. Like in 1800 music there was the forma sonata so called. That was, you, you, you wanted to compose something, you had to have a prelude, then you have to have the exposition of the theme and then a second exposition and then the recapitulation which means I go back just in case you don't understand the wink of what I played okay and then the finale and they structure and they stay and so what he did he said uh, like the painters of the impressionism did with painting and they decided that I want to transfer the emotion different he did something that all the jazz musician studied because he said well, actually, we can also change the structure and the rhythm, and he did different. This piece comes from the children's corner, a book of music he wrote for his own daughter. And he put all the discoveries of his music into this kind of music that, that sounded strange. Remember, the jazz didn't exist yet. You had at the end, at the beginning of 1900. Okay? And then he attended the, uh, the exhibition in Paris and he first heard the music from Bali, from Indonesia, and the gamelan music. And he was kind of shocked. Alla prossima. Something magic. 
he understood that there was not only Western music, that there was an entire planet of music. And he was stunned because the gamelan are just big metal pots, you know, that are played and the sound is so weird and so different. And he said, I have to do it. That's marvelous. How can I put this into the diatonic scale? Just work. Because in Bali, they don't know what a diatonic scale is. And so, he said, strange. It's strange. Well, actually, it's strange if you use the diatonic scale. But everything becomes clear if we change the scale. Simple. We change the pattern of interpretation and what's mysterious becomes clear. Dimitri, let's do a hexatonal scale. You see, you're just hitting the interval of one tone. So, can you follow me? Touch screen. <laughs> um, what is the implication? First of all, that there are just two exotonic scale. One that starts from the white. Can we, Dimitri, do the second scale? So two scales, no more than two. But with these two, you build a magic world of music. Completely different. Why? Because he destroys the hierarchy. There is no longer, you cannot do a seventh. You cannot do ta da 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 It doesn't work. Every note in the scale has an interval of untone from the other end to the next. So every note is in tone. There is no outer tone. The center, the, the tonalic center of the 300 before disappears. And this is why when we listen to Debussy, we understand why he just wanted to have us concentrate not in the structure, not in the exposition, not in the prelude, not in the recapitulation, not in the finale, but just in sound. And it's so beautiful, uh, and it's a completely different emotional world. So what is important is emotion. And I remind you that emotion means relationship. Emotion means I interact with my environment. I interact with the people around me. I interact now with what's around me. Exactly when we talk about cloud computing and we say, well, what's important? Not the computer, not the structure, not the mainframe, but the application. What I'm here for, what am I doing? And so the concept of dissonance disappears. Sounds familiar? Okay. So when we're talking about clouds, and we ask security in the clouds, we have privacy, what is the value, you know, uh, the proper intellectual property, the costs, all those phrases change completely different, have, have a completely different pattern in the brain that is required in order to understand. Otherwise, we are really trying to play Debussy music with, with the atonic scale. So, when we face such a thing, we have to change, but to change pattern is necessary on one side. But it's painful. And there is a little trick here. This photo was taken in France. I took it in France. Can you understand? 
the little trick? We have to, like we need bread, to change the pattern to interpret the reality. So, le pain in French can be harmful and sad in English. If we use the right pattern, everything works. So we have to enter into this attitude that music forces us to get into and forces us to take the time. You cannot play this kind of music in a rush. You cannot rush. Time is inherently encoded in music. So we have to take the time to switch the mental pattern that we have in mind. And music helps us to do this with the right timing. Sometimes they ask me, oh, okay, why don't I read the manual? I have the manual, the cloud manual, you know? It's easy, okay? You buy what? Uh, Amazon, uh, Dropbox manual, everything is there. Because they say the eternal Tao cannot be said. You cannot talk about the Tao. It's more, it's holistic, it's bigger. So it cannot be contained in a book. It cannot be contained in a rational experience. I'm having a hard time to explain with words. I, would, I could let Dimitri play and probably you would understand more about what I'm talking about rather than explaining, trying to become more and more detailed and more and more precise. You know, I'm pointing the moon and you're looking at my fingers, at my nails. And Actually, sometimes the answer you're looking for come from an unexpected places. I've been in Egypt for holidays and you look at pyramids and you look at the grandiose or if you simply go to Garda Lake and you go and visit the Catullo's Villa it's so great. 2,000 years ago there was a man who imagined that they could build something on a peninsula overlooking the Mount Baldo in the front. And they built a window just facing the mountain. Why? Because they needed beauty. They needed beauty to enrich themselves. And sometimes the answer for us as techies, as technological experts, as certified information technology engineers, maybe it can be in a sport. Maybe in the music score that, that we have to start not just reading, but feeling and understanding. Sometimes the answer, yes, comes from, from an expected place. But the answer is there. So, did I give you a clue? Thank you. Uh, let me thank you one group of people uh, because when we followed when we decided to do this presentation we knew that there was a group of people that would say it's wrong it's not cloud. It's cloud. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and the guy, by the way, think a moment. They were part of the experiment. They were not dumb. They were not idiots. They were just the normal people who is not able to switch their mental pattern from one situation to another. You look, okay, they're talking about computer, the internet, there is the word computing, so Claude must be wrong. Eh? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you, Dimitri. He was great.